100 teens sent to Earth with no adult supervision. I see nothing good coming of this mission. So the 100 by Cass Morgan. This is recently been turned into a TV show. It started airing back in either late March, early April. So far, I have fallen in love with this show. Um, but we're not going to talk about the show. We are going to talk about the book. 100 by Cass Morgan is a post-apocalyptic universe where 100 teens who were juvenile delinquents on a space station they call the Ark is, are sent down to Earth to see if it's livable because such space station is dying. They are running low on oxygen and things like that. It's not being able to support the people that are living out there. So they send 100 teens down to Earth to see whether or not they can, in fact, live down on Earth now. It's been a couple of generations, so they're hoping that nuclear waste is good and they are able to move down and live in a happy society. Um, they have a lot of rules in this world. They cannot have pregnancies without permission. If you commit a crime over the age of 18, you're automatically dead. If you commit a crime under the age of 18, you get locked up until your 18th birthday where you get a review hearing pretty much. And at this point in society, they're all dying during the review hearing because, well, they can't support everyone on this arc. So, bye-bye on your 18th birthday, kids. Um, so these 100 teens are sent down to Earth to see whether or not it's inhabitable for future generations. So, I, I like the book. I will give you that. My only problem with the book is that each chapter alternates person as well as tense. So, you have each person's story throughout each chapter and then you also go to their past on why they were locked up and things like that and it's really confusing and really hard to keep track of. I had to start a few chapters over because of this but I like the story. So congratulations Cass Morgan on that. Um, I think it probably would have been better if they did each person's story as a different book. It probably would have been easier to read but I do love that you get to see everything from why they were arrested, who, what is going on within their lives on Earth from the arrival to certain points from each person's point of view. Um, this book is told in four persons' point of view. You have Bellamy, who is the only person living on the space station with a sibling. Um, it's against the rules to have more than one child, so whenever Bellamy's mother had a second child and kept it hidden, um, he's the only living person with a sibling besides said sibling. And Bellamy actually shoots his way onto the dropship because his sister is one of the 100 going down. He wants to go down to protect her. I like Bellamy. Um, in this book specifically, um, we'll discuss TV show on another date, but Bellamy is a different character from the book to the TV show. Um, if you are watching the TV show, he's not as bad of a character in the book. I mean, you know what he did to get down to earth in the book from the beginning, and everyone knows what he did down to get down to earth from the beginning. So, but yeah, um, so you have Bellamy. And then you have Wells. Wells is the son of the Chancellor, who I would say more like our king, a king in this world. Um, he pretty much is the one that enforces the rules. He has a council that also helps him out with this, um, but he's the one that everyone blames for everything. Um, I know it's not really a king-like position, but he's the one that sends people to their death and things like that. So you have Wells, the son of the Chancellor. And he, whenever he found out that they were sending the 100, he did something wrong just to get arrested to be one of the 100 going down to Earth. So Wells 
is, I don't know whether or not I like him sometimes. Sometimes I like him, sometimes I don't. Okay, next we have Clark. Clark is the one that you actually see advertised as the main character on the TV show, but she's not just the main character in the book. Because we can say it's told from four, po four points of view, so it's not just her story. Um, Clark's parents were arrested because they were testing radiation levels on children that were unregistered. Those children that you were not supposed to have. Bravo people, there's a bunch of kids went whenever they were not registered. Um, but yeah, her parents were arrested for that and because she had spent time in the lab that her parents were using, she was also arrested for this. Um, but because she was under the age of 18, she was not killed, she was arrested, and she ended up being part of the 100 sit down. But here's the fun part. Her boyfriend at the time, Wells, who was the Chancellor's son, told his dad what her parents were doing and that's the reason why her parents were arrested and killed because her boyfriend told on them and I like that I like the she hates home now dynamic between those two um but it's also really makes the love triangle thing between Bellamy Clark and Wells really really truly stand out because she likes Bellamy, and then she likes Wells, but she hates Wells at the same time. She hates what he did, and she hates what he represents. She represent He represents her parents' death, and she hates that. And then last but not least, you have the story of Glass. I think Glass is my favorite character because she is the reason why you see what's going on up in the arc. Um, Glass sent... Glass was sent to prison whenever she had an unsanctioned pregnancy. Um, she did end up losing the baby, which I find sad. So not only is she sent to prison until she's 18, she also ended up losing the baby completely. So yeah, I find that very, very sad. But um, Glass is the only character who gets off of the dropship whenever Bellamy is fighting his way onto the dropship. So you see Glass's point of view of everything that's going on from the Ark. So you get to see what's going on up on the space station, which is a really good point of view. Because the thing is, like, you just see 100 heads living down on Earth. You're not, you're not actually expecting the extra teenager living up on the Ark still telling what's going on up there, what they're doing up there. So that's a really good point of view to have. And that is part of the reason why I like the four, port, four points of view. It does make it harder to read, but that extra point of view that they're giving you with this fourth one is a really good thing to have. Um, overall, this book is an amazing book. Um, I loved it. The TV show has already veered completely off of the book, so that's the reason why I'm not even going to discuss it in this video. But if you may think you have an interest, watch the first couple of episodes. One and two, they don't really have anything to do with the book itself, but it gives you an idea of what this society is all about. Um, I mean, if you have a limited supply of oxygen, what are you going to do? You can't just let everyone do whatever they want. You have to have rules, and they have some very strict rules. And these people, these 100 teens, broke the rules in some way or another, and they are living with the consequences now. So they're living with the consequences down on Earth, an Earth that has been, as far as they know, unpopulated all their lives, plus generations before this Earth it's probably not safe. I mean, one of the first few interactions they have with animal life on Earth is a deer with two heads, so it's not a populatable Earth. Um, but it's an interesting world, and Cass Morgan created it, and I love it. I cannot wait for the second book to come out this coming fall. Um, I don't know what else to say about this. Um, if you have an interest in sci-fi, you may like it. If you have an interest in dystopian societies, which I think all books seem to be about now, 
you may really like this book. Um, it's a very good dystopian society. It's also a very unique dystopian society because, yeah, these kids are on Earth, but, well, no, they still have no adult supervision. <laughs> um, but they do have other surprises for them besides the fact that animals have two heads. So, overall, go read it. Um, take your time reading it because it does get confusing if you read it too quick. I did have some problems with that because I was reading it really, really quick. But other than that, it's a great book, and I think it was amazing. So, The 100 by Cass Morgan. Um, it's a now TV show on CW. It airs on Wednesday nights at 8 o'clock. Yeah, Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. Central. I, I don't know what time other people would see it, but I see it at 8 p.m. on Central Time. Um, that is all I have to say about this book. I hope you enjoy my review and go and either do like I did, check it out from the public library. Um, I like public library books.